Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Red World. I'm your host, Mr. McCullover, and right now we are led by a certain Bernard Sanders, a moderate socialist in the seat of power for our American People's Commonwealth. But let's read about war, su war support for war surges. Support for the Great American War has surged in recent weeks as the president commands a deadly campaign against the Southern reactionary forces. The general populace is now certain that our soldiers will win the war and defeat any um, remaining rebel forces that persist against the occupying commonwealth. Hearing this news from the advisors was a great relief for Bernard Sanders, after being constantly bombarded by reports of outrage in the initial stages of this invasion. At least America seems to have cozied up to the idea of a necessary battle for reunification. Great, but... <clears throat> Apparently, with the inauguration, we go straight to war. But I, Bernard Sanders, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of American or the President of the American People's Commonwealth, and will, to the best of my ability, per persevere, preserve, and protect, and defend the Constitution of our Commonwealth, my fellow Americans. Today, we stand on the brink of something—a new beginning for our nation, an age of democracy, freedom, the right to be who you want to be, values that have been held back and crushed by a gang of political masterminds here in this very metropolis. But for every crime spotted against the American people by this government. There are two committed by our foreign enemies, those who seek to bring down the commonwealth through whatever means they deem necessary. Murder, war, manipulation, corruption, these forces of evil will stop at nothing to see Philadelphia fall into the hands of their beloved president, Jeb Bush. And yet, until this very day, it seems not one man or woman has taken action. Politicians sitting in their ivory towers and gleefully observing as the American people do their dirty work have talked of mediation or of diplomacy and peaceful coexistence. Perhaps in another age when humanity can stand side by side as equals, this will be possible, but now is not that age. And now is not the time for discussion. Now it is time for action. As now, as of now, the American people's commonwealth is at war with the embodiment of in humanity itself, the republic. And not be it a war that the commonwealth shall lose. For every man or woman that dies of this future battlefield, another will rise to defend the legacy of our revolution. And in the end, we shall prevail. Long live socialism. Long live the American people's commonwealth. Long live the people. And we literally just go to war with the American republic, which I was not ready for. I mean, the pacifists are traitors, which is nice and all, because we got that other event because we did this focus, but... I didn't know we were going to go to war immediately. Like, holy cow. I don't think we're ready. We can't literally do any other focus here either, except for these up here. So, dissolve the provisional co uh, Congress, maybe? Arrest trade council unions? I guess we get more PP that way. Less revolutionary socialism and get more factory output, I guess. But the trade councils have opposed President Sanders from the beginning and have supposedly been leaking clarified military intelligence to the South. Whether it's true or not, it gives us the perfect pretext to purge these traders from the political arena once and for all. War of Unification. The recent declaration of war by Chairman Sanders has been formally approved by the Provisional Congress. And the two splinter states are officially at war. The Commonwealth, although having significant numerical and industrial advantages over the southern remnants, will not rapidly end this war. Some predict a swift victory by the end of the year, while others, ex experts, predict a far grimmer and longer conflict. Only time shall tell who will come out on top. No matter which side wins, it's clear that the average American will lose. Momentous news? Oh, God. Oh, this is not good. I don't like this. I really don't like this. We're not ready for work because we... Because part of our borders are just exposed. And we have Jim Mattis here leading as Field Marshal. We don't have command power. Because this is completely open, which is not good. Uh, we're not ready for this. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. We got over. That's good. Um, We actually might be able to be trucking through parts of Kentucky. We'll see what happens. We'll see what the AI does. But oh, I'm not ready for this. No, 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 no. Come on down. Help out. Uh, Please don't invade me. Please, for the love of God, don't need to invade me. Take back DC. Come on. Oh, hello. Go, go. What the heck? Oh, crap. No, no, no. Guys, move your butts. We gotta move to Lexington. The uh, Trade Council leaders arrested. The chiefs of every na single national trade council within the Commonwealth, as well as its successor protégés, have been arrested in a spectacular display of force from President Sanders. Late this afternoon, they were rounded up by military police and orders from the executive branch and subsequently taken to a remote maximum security prison in central Pennsylvania. The exact whereabouts are unknown at the moment, but a spokesperson for the president, shocking, announced that not long after the event that the chiefs had been ratted out as traitors. Supposedly, they had been leaking classified military in in info to our enemies in the South and ensuring that President Sanders would not be able to secure total victory. They should be executed for treason. This is wild. Uh, we'll go dissolve uh, befriend military leaders. Now, the Great American War has caught many of our generals by surprise, but we must reassure them that President Sanders is still on their side. Only then we can use expertise to crush Atlanta's reactionaries. And also, a few comments including, uh, we should do Bill Gates next, and we won't go and become a Naz Nazball, right? 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 Uh, no, no, we'll never go Nazball with, with Bernard Sanders. Never, 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 never. Keep these guys in place, boys. You guys, uh, you, you hold. You definitely hold. Get back to Lexington. 
Oh, you piece of garbage. You piece of dirty garbage. Oh, this is not good. How do we get in circles here like this? Oh, no. Alright, well, I'll have to break through Louisville then. Because we can't seem to win here either. I guess we got that area back. That's good. Uh, go back over here then. That's fine. Did we get defeated here? Did we seriously just lose a division here? Come on. That, that's stupid. That is... No, you're going to force defense. You want to do that? All right. We'll attack you in the back then. Befriend military leaders. And then nationwide conscription. This war is essential for the survival of the revolution. Every loyal citizen should be conscripted into the glorious common with armed to ensure a complete and total victory. Resource efficiency gain goes minus 45%. Holy crap. Drift to moderate socialism. Oh, that's not good. This is just god awful. My goodness. Why are we doing it like this? And why aren't you moving? How are we losing that? Okay, so note to self, don't make encirclements here in America, because apparently you're just going to lose, so I think that's... Uh, pfft, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Wow, this is stupid. But okay, whatever. Um, it is all the Provisional Congress. The Provisional Congress has a brief but tumultuous run as the highest legislative body in this country. It's now defunct, the time, the time is right to finally decommission it. I don't understand why we're going to war immediately. This makes literally no sense to anybody. <laughs> I mean, maybe it does to some, but like... I didn't sign up for war, man. We just got funny healthcare, man, for no for, for funsies. What the heck? This doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, well, these Canada will trade with us for oil, though. That is so ridiculously stupid that we just lost a division because... For no reasons, basically. For literally no reason. So stupid. You try to do a circumvent, it doesn't work. But provisional Congress is all. In times of peace, the Provisional Congress may have been an excellent initiative, allowing us to rapidly restore free and fair democracy within the American people's commonwealth. However, with the nation remaining in a state of war with the South, a hard decision was made by President Sanders after a series of meetings with representatives from each side, or each state. Instead of maintaining a useless institution with little power in the first place, the Commander-in-Chief decided to formally dissolve America's Provisional Congress until it can be restored during peacetime. Good readings. Goodbye. Internal smear campaign. It would appear that there are some politicians that refuse to support President Sanders in the war with their southern enemies. Fortunately, we have enough dirt on them to sideline them once and for all. Alright, so we have enough artillery. Um, we just need more guns. We have enough of everything but guns. And actually, you guys. Oh, come on. Repair your stuff. Repair, repair, repair. Uh, motorized. They're not great. They're not bad, though. Um, get some artillery on these bad boys. Definitely could do something. There you go. Join combat with? Sign us up. Ooh. Do we have any extra? That's not too bad, then. There you go. Good luck with that. Infantry divisions are looking okay. Will we have enough to do something like this? No, we would not. How about over here? Field hospitals might not be bad. Support anti air? Yeah, you could do that one. Why not? There you go. So basically, we can't do anything. Oh, hold on. I don't understand the AI right now. I really don't. But maybe that's a good thing. Occupy okay, territories. Local autonomy is actually very nice. And I guess we'll. Can't do another focus. Okay. Well, at least we can do stuff here, maybe. Oh, uh, we'll close this out as well. Cool, cool, cool. Mm, they, you know, they keep not reinforcing their line, which makes me want to, you know, fight and get into their lands, but I've already done that once, and it turned out very poorly for us, so. You should be able to win here, right? We do have air superiority. Oh, they threw another division in. That sucks. Well, yep, at least we have 100 fighters here, and we do, hopefully, can do quite well. All right, we've lost 10,000 versus there, 8,000. They're good. Just hold the line for now, guys. Just hold the line. Hopefully, at least we broke over the river one area, so. Sudanese Union. Mm. Michael Flynn versus James T. Hill. Just for the love of God, please do not naval invade me. I do not want to get naval invaded. How? Oh, we have no planes. We have no planes. Ooh. To the top with you, and to the top with you as well. We literally have no other military factories to spare right now. That is not very bueno. Hmm. Well, this is not looking great. America's at war. Ethiopian workers have already demolished, or banned, abolished. Demolished? <laughs> yeah, not quite. Uh, let's see. Intelligence? Ooh, Novus Intelligence, Intelligence. Well, it's all that. That's kind of cool. Uh, what about down here? Industrial concerns we saw that yesterday. No, not too much. Ooh. Ooh, Abner Workhorse. That might not be bad. We can only get how many? One, Literally one political power day. But what if we want to get a little bit more artillery? 
Or maybe military staff, 5% attack, 5% attack. I'd rather get more political power first then. Let's just get more political power then. Screw it. 1.1. Uh, that's really not good either. We're barely getting. Hmm. Mm hmm. The war effort, yeah. That's really hurting us. That's really hurting us a lot, actually. So that looks like the only place we can go is right here. Unfortunate. Alright, they do have one division there, and we do have air superiority, and we do have plenty of, plenty of fuel. Hopefully we make some carrier fighters soon. Oh, yes! You nav and carriers. Good, 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 good. Which means our ships... Oh, another ship, nice. Sh these guys should be getting some planes, right? So, 45, so 1, 2, and then, oh, that 1, 2, not bad, not bad, we'll make it a little bigger here, not bad, full 45, pretty good, and over here, you want to do that too, you can have 30, well, the other one can have 25, not too bad, pretty good, pretty good, now, I'd love to cut them off here, but we just don't have enough divisions, do we have an extra spare 1, maybe, yes, There you go. Um, yeah, that's fine. Let him move around first. That's fine with me. Just let him move around. Actually, it might be worth getting, creating Agency Rook. Now, if you guys could think we come up with a better name, or just use the, t the name CIA, please let me know in the comments below, just because the name that we currently have is okay. Not great. Rook? Mm, I'm not really feeling Rook, but if you're feeling Rook, Rook, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, I want to get over here and get over here and then circle and kill these guys off. How dare they destroy our own divisions? We killed off more of them than they have us, though. But we literally can't tell what they have, and we're losing now. Um, sit down. Hmm. They have a lot of divisions. They have so much manpower. My gosh. That's so much manpower. 10, 12. Okay, what else do I have in there? Anything here interesting? Maintenance companies, we already got those. 10, 12, 10, 13. That's almost 10, 13 already. Hmm. Uh, just go and grab that one. Just gonna get some more output. We need more guns, anyways. Uh, do they have two divisions here? Yeah, I thought they did. Nice. Just force it. Force them to die. Ooh, good. Another military factory. I really want to make sure that our, our aircraft carriers are doing quite well. And they get more guns, too. Guns? Where are the guns? Are we not making guns? Oh, they're right here. Okay, I'm not used to seeing that. Like that. Okay, cool. Oh, now they attack us. That's good. We're going to cut, cut Kentucky completely off. Completely cut them off. Nice. Atlanta will be ours. Eventually. Uh, let's get a, more, a little more organization before we head on in. They do have some tanks, so we got to be careful. Four v V2. Hopefully we can do well here. Internal smear campaign is gone. It's fine. Um, yeah, it's, it's very weird not having enough political power here. Are we being up enemy divisions? Yes, infantry, very good, very good. Let them leave, let them leave. And we've got them surrounded in Louisville. And now we crush the urban center. Go in. You all go in. No peace with the reactionaries. Death charge throwers are nice, probably not super needed, but happy 10th, tw uh, 2013, everyone. What a year, year? What a weird year for us. How are we, what? They're completely out of supplies and they're still holding us off? No, come on. Are you kidding me? Do they have a national spirit that gives them like more defensive core territory or something? Standing firm, flight of the executives, American isolation, uh, traditional values, a Christian nation. I mean, they get better war support, just like us though, so. No, they don't. They have 96% war support, so that would kind of explain it. This is stupid. This is really stupid. How are they winning? How? Unbalanced, man. Unbalanced. Felix Harrison, hello? Kill them off. Please, just kill them off. I don't care what it takes. You kill them all. You will die here if you don't kill them off. I swear to God. Like, this is stupid. This is incredibly stupid. You completely cut off, and you're not even taking... They're not even taking damage. Come on. Man, this is dumb. This is stupid. I'm sorry, guys. I do apologize, but this is just... This pisses me off. Literally starving, and you're just holding on. No thanks. No thanks. I'm not going to do unbalanced stuff like that. No way. No hellish way, man. You're all going in. I don't care what it takes. I really don't care what it takes. 40,000 losses because of unbalanced things? Thanks. Thanks. That's incredibly stupid. 
Uh, let's see. At least we can finally see what they have now. Yep, never mind. Yeah, that was just incredibly stupid. 110,000 is not enough. Dead. We need more dead. Alright, that's the case. Well, I don't trust our, our advisors. I'll get more attack then. And they'll probably go down to... Ooh, nothing else, because we need more world tension. It's only 5%. If America falls into a civil war, I guess that doesn't mean anything. It gets for the real... for the world. <laughs> doesn't mean Jack Squad of America falls into civil war. Good to know. Then again, we've been disunited since like 1990, so... Oh, uh, let's see... 30, 25... Boom, 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 boom. There you go. Alright. Uh, just give us a few more plants, and then we'll try to seek out their navy. Alright, so they're tempting me again. Let's move on in here first. And you guys go there, and then you guys go right there. Maybe we can sit around and get Newport News. Maybe. Winston-Salem, which I've been to before. Alright, we're going to risk it for the port. So even if we get the port... Oh, we got the port, nice. Get a Norfolk... They really don't want to attack me, do they? Which, you know, fine with me, whatever, but still. I guess we're going in. Nice. Not bad. Alright, and let's see what they got down here. We got enough planes for now. Right in Florida, not bad, not bad. We cut off some more divisions. Oh god, taking to the southern mountains, not very good. Alright, these guys are pathetic. This, these soldiers really, not very good, my friends. Not very good. Yeah, you guys suck. Yeah, why would I hire Mattis? He sucks. <laughs> oh, they're still on that piece. Eh, it's alright. Yeah, they really don't like attacking. What, what's going on with them? And we're fighting Texas. They're allied with Texas, too, so... I'm not really sure what's going on with these guys. I mean, let them waste their guys on our line, but, you know. Hmm. Wow, we need a lot more guns in. Alright, so be it. Well, we gotta hold off and get more guns in. What do we have down here? Armored cars, that's fine. If we do eventually make them, of course. Get more civvies. Improved automated management. Nice. We definitely need that. Grab some of that, too. And land auction? No, we're still working on land auction. 1013, of course. Get some more better engineers. Why not? We love engineers. I'm sure you guys can actually win here, can you? Knoxville would be nice to get. I wonder if we get to core states, like in Kaiser Redux or Kaiser Reich. Just be able to core states, you know, when we are done with them, so. Alright, let's see what we got around here. Fighters, that'd be good to get. We do have some drones, but, mm, hmm. We will need slightly more fuel. Thank you, Canada. Do we win? It looks like we did. That's good. But we're still out. 8,000 guns. Not very good. Free first elections in Ethiopian history. Very good. Very good. We're only making two... Try to make two divisions at a time, but still. Oh, second like convoy. Nice. Very good job, guys. Very good job. Nice. Well, we'll probably attack here north of Nashville next. The American Republic is not really to give up soon. They got a lot of manpower. European president assassinated. Oh, Francois Hollande? I barely remember him, but he, d he did exist. Well, at least in this timeline, he does not exist anymore. Alright, integrated support is good. Let's grab some more of this. Regiment of combat teams, improved construction tools. Extraction, oh, well, I guess this doesn't really help. Eh, it does help a little bit, for that. I guess we'll just have to apply concentration of force in particular areas, even though we just lost another 100 guns. Why are we losing so many guns every day? We're not even attacking anymore. Um, resistance. That's what it is. Resistance. That's what it is. All right. Let's take a see. Take a see. Take a look. What do they got around here? You know, what do they got? Yeah, I just I was not ready for a war <laughs> immediately. That's a it's a bit extreme, Bernard. A bit extreme. All right. So we got some more of this. <sighs> we can't even go there, man. That sucks. Export focus. I'm gonna go limited exports, probably. Yeah. Let's do that one immediately. That helps us out with the planes at least a little bit more, which is nice. Hopefully, at least. More guns. Alright, we're making a few more guns. That's nice, 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 nice. We'll go over here next. Georgia does have a few mountains. Not that many mounts, but a few. Which is, you know, nice. I haven't been in Georgia in a very long time. Good. 
Uh, they should be relatively weak, so we should be able to push in there, right? Right? Let them attack us, too, maybe. Or just get... Oh. Mm hmm. Get in there, guys. Oh, that was close. That was close. Um, I wish we could push around, but... You know what? Let them attack us, then. Let, it, let them attack us. See what happens. Nice. Get some more division so we can maybe push down here and cut these guys completely off. There you go. Very good. Now raid them. Raid them, raid them, raid them, raid them, raid them. Hopefully the Navy can do well and just... Or, you know, sink them. Are they, are they leaving? No, they're just kind of sitting there. All right, well. These guys really don't want to move. They're, they're kind of lazy, I'm not going to lie. They're, they're kind of lazy. They're kind of lazy, man. I mean, I, I get it, you know. I'm kind of lazy too, but... Bro. I oh, can't even pierce them, which kind of sucks. But whatever. They shouldn't have that much organization. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that strength. 47% after that. Oh, very nice. Oh, jolly good. Oh, we need more fuel. Engineers are nice. Let's grab some more fuel then. Synthetic oil. 72 days, not too bad. Of course, if we ever do take Texas, we'll be okay too, but still. Come on. Nice. Um, help them out there. Did they leave? Okay, well, I guess everyone's going on in then. Alright, since we're almost out of fuel, Canada! Don't mind us, we're only committing war crimes. Thank you, come again. So, at least we've killed a lot more of them off now. It doesn't look like we killed any more of their divisions, but okay, whatever. Um, well, alright. I seriously don't understand what they're doing, but okay. Hey, nuclear power plant. Crap. Alright, well, we're going to do something I wasn't expecting to do, but alright then. We're going to have an encirclement no matter what. Get down, race. Good. Well, they asked for it, so... It's only two divisions, but you know what? I'll take out two more divisions. Hey, look. Goodbye. This is a weird way getting down to Atlanta through this area and then swinging around through the Carolinas. But, hey, if it works, it works, right? This could really stretch out our line if we don't move fast. But they do have guys down in Miami, too. I'm not sure what's going on here anymore. Does, does the AI just not work? You know what? If it does it, that just makes it easier for us. And look at them. They do be looking a little weak there. No, you don't. No, 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 no. It's much more important to encircle and kill them all, so. Let's go. Let's go. And... Hey, nice. That's very good. It is still 2013. We're doing all that good stuff, so... Uh, we're, we're doing... It looks like we're doing pretty darn well. I'm not gonna lie. It looks like we're doing pretty okay. Air Doctrine, I do want some cast. A little battlefield support. Oh. Oh, don't... Please please don't leave them alive. That, that wouldn't be very beneficial for the war effort. You guys go there. And you guys help support the attack there, and then uh, have a good time. Oh, they're still attacking up there. Look at that. Well, we got Atlanta. At this point, I guess, guys, get some planning done. Get to where you have to be, and, uh... I guess it's time to go. Okay, I told you guys to go, and you ain't going. What the heck, guys? Don't worry about the lineup here. They're just some pointless attacks, that's all. Birmingham? Cut him off in Memphis. Oh, that'd be so good if we cut all these guys off. Oh. Look at those truckies go. Then, again, we tried to intercomment earlier and didn't work out so well for us, but whatever. Nice. Add on up north. Oh, we got encircled. Not for long, though. Nope. Beat him up. Beat him up. Screw it. Force the attacks. Kill these guys off. They're completely cut off, so at this point, they're going to have to die. Either we die or they die. And that's a gamble I usually shouldn't take, but it doesn't matter at this point. We've lost 100,000. Not too bad. Not too bad. Burn it all to the ground again. There you go. There you go. No, no, no. I know attacking over the river is a really bad idea, but don't let them live. I proved heavy equipment. Good, good, good. And better guns. Tar 21's nice. Fuel swords. Let's grab some fuel refining, because that'll help us out no matter what. Anyways. Oh, we found another division. Oh boy. Oh boy. Get a little rock. Or close to a little rock. How seriously, I don't understand why these guys refuse to die. 
We have air superiority. They're out of supplies. They're starving. Yet they still hold on. And I guess some of these are hills, but... That, that shouldn't matter at all if you're just starving for supplies completely. But at least we're not losing that many guys doing this, so... Nashville, burn it to the ground. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, limited exports. What else do we want? Intelligence? Eh, it would be bad. Operative slots are actually pretty good to grab. This one's not too bad either. Benjamin Chamberlain? That's pretty nice. Uh, artillery? Screw it. Go artillery. I'm going to bomb the crap out of people. We're going to bomb the crap out of them very, very well. Go, 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 go. Seriously, how are they holding on? Hunter divisions aren't perfect. But still, man. Still. That took way too long. Way, 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 way too long. That's alright. Guys, can you please go? Please? New Orleans? How, oh my god, how much do we have to conquer? We get all the... Oh, wow. That's that's not super easy. Going all the way to Dallas, Texas to conquer them? Wowzers. And Bowsers. Wow. They're still making some millions. Hey, looking not too good. Okay, we're not looking good on guns at all, but okay. There you go, and there you go. At least this part of America will be reunited. Keep going, guys. You're doing a great job. Finally, you only had to encircle and kill off the, all of the armies. And now we're going to fight Rick Perry by himself. Oh, man. 1v1? Well, it's kind of like 2v1 now since we have their territory under our control. Get to Dallas. Get to Dallas, son. I should have sent my other guys in doing that. Whatever. Uh, grab that, too. Good. Hey, we got him. There you go. Oh, like we got Texas, too. You don't even need to take Texas. The Texan army doesn't mean jack squad if you take off Dallas. Wait, why do they own Dallas? That's part of Texas. Unification, war of unification complete. After brutal campaign across the American Republic, Chairman Sanders has declared complete victory over the southern remnants. Some level of resistance still remains within the newly conquered lands, but a feeling of dejection and resignation has fallen over the southern population. The war is over, but the Chairman's plans have just begun. It's never over, my friends. But I do apologize for earlier being a little ragey. Eh, I wasn't too ragey, but just enough for me to not like myself. And if you're still watching, thank you. Reversal movement. Now that we finally vanquished our arch enemy in the south, the revolution will face new, greater threats. To ensure stability and safety in the troubled times, the Commonwealth must be reorganized into the first Greater American Union for a safe and secure society for every American. And the Social Alliance becomes the ruling party, and, like normal, we do not allow elections here. <laughs> the National Bolshevik Party becomes the Socialist Party. The Communist Party becomes the Socialist Party Communist Faction. Nice. Oh, early days of National Bolshevism? Oh, we lose a lot of pee-pee. I don't want to lose our pee-pee. But I do want to take out Illinois. Those godforsaken, or uh, god-ridden, I don't know what to call those people from Illinois, but just people from Illinois, man. People from Illinois. At least it's not Ohio, right? At least we all have that in common. At least they're not from Ohio. <laughs> but Illinois, hmm. Missouri's okay. Missouri's kind of cool. Then again, there's like nothing there, but you know. Just because nothing there is there doesn't mean it's bad. Just doesn't mean it's good. Now we have Texas. And instead, yeah, let's grab some chromium. Let's, let's, let's grab some chromium. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Indonesia, thanks for the rubble. Now we can make a lot of good things. Oh, look at that! We actually have a surplus of a lot of the goods here. Nice thumbs up for me. And make more civvies. We could use more civvies. You know what? Civvies are more important than millies right now, so. And we're currently getting 0.23 every single day. Wow, this is a long focus. But luckily, it's 2014. God, that was a weird year for me. So many years of these have been very weird for me. Hmm. Maybe it's a me thing. It probably is. Alright, we're here anyways. I don't want to have too many issues, so we're going to be in a deficit of artillery for a while. Doesn't matter to me. As long as we got the thickest Commonwealth boys here, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Bernard Sanders likes his boys thick. Which just sounds extremely weird to say, but it probably does. Yeah, 2014 went went through Olympics. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. Do we have any field hospitals here? Eh, I think we'll be okay without them. You know what? Who needed um, supply? We don't need supply here. We just want everybody to be nice and thick. It's an American thing to be, to be huge. And we love it. Chunky 40 combat with selling us. Oh, now we have no army XP, but that's okay. What else are you going to use it for? The time has come. And after this, what are we going to do? After reverse the movement, reorganization? Revive? Oh, American Revival just by Rogel Sands enables decision to restore the U.S. to corp- Oh, former Republic Territory. The American dream must be revived, beginning with the reunification of the modern American state. 
and the fate of the revolution depends on it. We shall revive the old principles of Manifest Destiny to support the cause for unification. That is one thing I wouldn't, don't think I would ever hear Bernie Sanders say. But I could be wrong. Re-Manifesting Destiny. Sign me up. And we change our flag too, look at that. Bernard Sanders. I think for as long as Bernard Sanders here is leading our nation, I'm going to put a different version of him on the thumbnail. But the Great American Union. And his first address to the nation since we claim victory over Atlanta. President Bernie Sanders has proclaimed a new beginning for the American people. Instead of restoring Congress to its initial power before hostilities began, the Commander-in-Chief declared democracy must be postponed for the time being, at least until our nation can get on its feet back again. But while his address initially began calmly and with reason, it gradually became ferocious and threatening against certain groups of people within the Commonwealth, namely, Sanders called out his allies of the former Central Committee, state governors who he once sought the approval of, and even Noam Chomsky himself. They were labeled traitors to the new socialist cause, outcasts in the eyes of the revived American populace. The end of his speech, however, truly caught the entire planet's attention. Despite once advocating for simply reformed American people's commonwealth, the president announced in front of an enormous wall of the stars and stripes thank that a great, greater American Union shall be established in the same territories in which we now reside. A greater what? A greater America, my friends. Operation Lake Smoke. Ooh, I just want to kill our enemies off. Oh, consumer goods factories goes. Ooh, not good. That's not very. That's not worth it. Condemn private businesses. That's not worth it. An alter nationalist propaganda. Oh wait. Oh, we're national Bolsheviks now. Um, now socialist party is blue. Okay. But now it's Sanders, huh? Well, he's definitely uh, making a revolution. Thumbs up. All right. Oh, I just want to kill off our enemies. But revenge. Trial of the committee. Ooh, purge old guard leaders. Consolidate new order. Executives execute southern leaders. How about some revenge? It only takes a week. Many people have tried to stop the revolution from the treacherous Central Committee in Philadelphia to the reactionaries in Atlanta. Now that we've come out on top, it's time to take revenge on those who try to divide the American people for their own self-interest. Oh boy, Bernard Sanders, you are getting a little radical. And maybe that's what we like about him. Oh, we got the Tar-21. Isn't that a gun from Modern Warfare 2? God, that game was so much fun. I raged so hard at that game, though. Holy crap. Noob tubes. Revenge. And you know what? Before we do this one, I want it. I don't know if we have to race on these or not. Operation Shining Star. We're going against Texas. Oh, we need to core this. Let's go do Operation Shining Star because it only takes three weeks and we need cores immediately. The notorious rebellious state of Texas has a far stronger national identity than many of the other post-Reagan states because of its unique history, which is very true if you ever lived there. A plan will be drafted to deal with the sworn and American side, including detailing instructions for the local military authorities on how to deal with inevitable post-invasion rebellions. Makes sense to me. We don't get that much political power, though. Which, I'm actually glad we got the person here for more... Actually, can we get another person here? Oh. Bias intellectual. You lose political power with this guy. Uh... Oh, what? Hello? Hello? What? Hello? Union of Soviet... Hello? You are kind of chunky, Gennady. Why are you going to war with... Oh, get the Navy back in the ocean. Why are we at war? Why are we at war? <sighs> Protect the eastern seaboard or something. What? Why? We didn't do anything yet. The Democratic League is nice and all, but... Holy crap, that's a huge Warsaw Pact. Oh my gosh. And they're down here too. Brazzaville. Um, I am... Mm, I'm a little worried now. I'm a little worried, not gonna lie. Why did they go to war with us, though? Um, um, Rio Summit? Did they already do this one? They must have already just done that one or something. The Final Struggle? Uh, this is, this campaign, this is on historical, so I guess we go to war early? I, I don't know. I'm glad I made our Divisions 40 combat with, though. Holy crap, what is going on? But, you know what, Bernard Sanders would prefer to do trial of the committee. The Supreme Leader has personally appointed a royal, a loyal, free tribunal to judge the members of the old Commonwealth Central Committee for their crimes against the American people and the people of Vermont in particular. The reactionary trails will get what they deserve in a highly publicized trial, so justice will be finally served. Operation Shining Star. Operation Shining Star in its final form has just been presented to Bernie Sanders for a final consideration, upon which it will hopefully be put into effect as quickly as possible. American forces already amassing to invade the notoriously rebellious 
state of Texas. And when the time is right, they will rapidly move in to totally wipe Texan troops out. The stage of the American Revanche's plan has turned out to be far more complex than any others prepared by the National Security Council, as it delves deeper into the post-occupation process in which we'll have to fight against an unprecedented rebel force despite this. Bernard Sanders is trying to keep focus on the situation at hand, and at the moment it seems American armies will easily crush whatever opposition Texas throws at us. Alright, so here we have this. Integrate the territories, gain corn Texas and West Texas, integrate America. Oh, 140. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I don't. The mod is still in development, right? So, I don't know. I doubt the developers are watching this. But, if they are, I might recommend instead of doing one lump sum of 140, you might want to focus on different states at one at a time. Like, you want to do North Car Virginia, the rest of Virginia, then North Carolina, South Carolina. You might do that, maybe. But, or, or maybe they could just keep it 140. I mean, that, maybe that's up to their, you know, their, you know, decision making. So, I don't know. Just makes it a little bit easier on us. And I guess it depends on who, well, I guess, we're going to kill Texas stuff, guys. But uh, it just depends on what the devs want, I guess, you know. They can keep it that way, which is totally fine, just, it seems very weird. Uh, I thought it was Mexico at first, I'm like, oh my gosh, we can't go to war with Mexico now. Alright, uh, Saudi Arabia, I'd love your oil, but Canada? Oh, Canada. We love Canada. Thank you, Canada. Wow. The American Revival, I was not ready to go to war with the USSR yet, early days of national Bolshevism, which we do want to get rid of. But... Reorganization? Cult of personality. How do we get rid of this thing? Second reorganization state? Oh my gosh. 105 days. Holy big daddies. We need way more guns. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, we, we still need more fuel. God dang it. Why does the Navy have to consume so much fuel? So much yummy, yummy fuel. Okay, we should be good. We've got to keep building our cities, though. Purge your old guard leaders. Consumer goods factories? Uh, that could be worse. Demolish the Philadelphia capital? Okay, we'll get more infrastructure. 105 days? Philadelphia's defunct capital building represents everything that was wrong with the corrupt commonwealth of old. It should make way for a new structure commissioned by the supreme leader himself. Oh, crap. Oh, no. What do we see, dude? Oh, we sunk some subs. Oh, crap. They are really actually ready to invade us. No, 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 no. Please, please. Go back home, guys. Please go back home. Nothing here. There's nothing here that you want from us. Absolutely nothing. America's home to nothing important. Please, we have no fuel here. I swear to God, we have no fuel. Um, yeah, everything you read on the news is fake news. America no longer exists. Guys, don't you know America no longer exists? Please go home. But if we keep sinking their subs, I kind of like that too. So, it is what it is. When you guys play this, you know, Red World Fan Fork, that's the mod we're using. Not Red World, but Red World Fan for him. Does this happen to you when you play as Bernard Sanders? Do you get declared war on upon almost immediately? Actually, we already have one of these guns. I'd rather focus on anti-sub stuff. There you go. Like, this doesn't seem very historical, but then again, who am I to judge? I'm just a guy playing a game online. Actually, I'm playing single player and showing you all my videos, so. Thanks for coming around, guys. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate you guys watching, so. Another light cruiser. So, each one of these has a, cruise, a carrier, which is nice, actually. It's very, very nice. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, update equipment, that makes sense. But, some of these focuses uh, take a little bit too long, in my opinion. I think we should really go to Lake Smoke first. We get a core Great Lakes territory too, so. The false souls just in the Great Lakes Republic, which have long been a thorn in the Supreme Leader's side, has to be eliminated for the revolution to succeed. An invasion plan has been already been drafted by Bernard Sanders himself, and will be presented today to the members of the National Security Council. I love saying Bernard Sanders. Bernie Sanders is cool, but Bernard Sanders just sounds so much more official and regal. Hmm. So much more fun that way. Even though he does get a per cult of personality on screen. But a trial of the committee. Members of the old Commonwealth Central Committee have been sentenced to death during the most watched trial in American history. Ben Bernie Sanders personally selected a free tribunal was convened today by the head of the state himself to consolidate power over the Union and finally remove those wretched revolutionary socialists from existence. From the very beginning of America's second revolution, they sought to crush the lives of every single person who got in their way, no notably countless families in Vermont at the time. Today, they have finally received a taste of their own medicine. After being executed by firing squad just hours after their tribunal, they decided that the most justified sentencing was not life, but death. Their reign is over. I don't know who that's a portrait of, but... We're totally not becoming Nazballs. Totally not. Totally not. This is for the good of the people. Whose people? Don't ask me. But for the people. But, integrate the American Territories Republics? Yes, we can use our factories and manpower, too. Ooh, coyotes. Cool. I love smart bullets. They are smart. That's why we like them. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, are we importing things? Oh, I do not want to be importing things. No imports. 
I'd rather get it from Brazil, because we love Brazil. Oh, they're probably going to die. Gosh dang it. Gosh darn it. Well, that kind of sucks. But we should get a lot more manpower soon. Operation Lake Smoke. But let's go and do demolish the Philadelphia capital. I think I'm going to this one, so yay! Operation Lake Smoke, a detailed plan for the total obliteration of forces from the Great Lakes Republic, was drafted in secrecy by Bernie Sanders himself years ago. As governor of Vermont, he believed it was in the best interest of all Americans to violently push for reunification. And the first nation that needed to be wiped out was the Great Lakes. Today, the plan was for the first time ever revealed to members of the Sanders Elite National Security Council, who quickly agreed that Operation Lake Smoke should begin as soon as possible. All troops are ready to cross the border, and administrators within our own United states have been informed of the upcoming war. Oh, good word these guys. I want to go to California. I'm going to wait for a cell. But no one likes Illinois. Uh, you guys go down there. You can probably... Mm -hmm. I don't like that. We'll see what we can do. Maybe we can push through the upper part of Michigan quickly enough. Alright, led by Melissa Hortman. Not, almost no manpower. We have no idea how many divisions they have, so I'll send our spy, our Uno spy, to Milwaukee. Is, is Milwaukee a nice place? I have no idea. I really have no idea. Doesn't seem too bad up here yet. Three, two, miles ago as fast as we possibly can. Oh, they do have quite a few divisions. How many do they have? Oh, I, I looked, I saw this. I'm like, oh my gosh, Milwaukee's got so many allies. That's just no, the Great Lakes. Up to 29. That's not too bad for them. I mean, I did make your guys 40 combo, so they should be fairly strong, I'm taking out enemies. So, we've lost 7,000. We've killed off 34,000. Not too bad. Union of American People's Republic. Oh, poor Utah. Poor, poor Utah. Poor the Mormons. Poor Mormons. Are they out of manpower yet? Yes, they are. Good. So any more damage you do, they can't re replace. Very nice. Would you guys like to help out? Alright, let's just reorganize you guys here then. Oh god, Minneapolis is the capital? I'm not sure how I feel about that, I'll be honest, man. Three. Two. One. We're not ready to go yet. Can you guys go here? You should be able to do pretty darn well there and just go drive up there. Um, oh, we got more cores. Oh, wow, look at that manpower now. Now that's nice. I hope we got more factories as well. Why are you guys not winning up here? They don't even have air superiority. Nice. Another light cruiser. Very good. Oh, crap. Do not get encircled. For the love of God, please don't get encircled. Support the attack for now. Come on. Just just go on ahead, guys. Oh, my goodness. Please don't get them encircled. Okay, that's good. Oof. You guys might want to help out here, too. We lost how many? 30,000? That's not bad. We cut off 75,000. Not, not 80,000, not too bad, not too bad. If you guys could cut these guys off, that would be extremely good. Then all these northern guys would die. 88,000, 94,000, almost 100,000. Let's go, 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 go. Why is Iowa the capital? Oh, they're telling June. What, what are they doing over there in Italy? It looks like they did last stand there, maybe, but yeah, whatever. Doesn't really matter to me. Hey, they died, yay. 150,000, not bad. Pretty good. Static anti-air. Or just anti-air. Nice, nice, nice. I forgot about research speed. My bad. Good job, guys. Ah, the Great Lakes Republic. Now, Illinois is almost completely surrounded. Which is pretty darn nice. I like when Illinois and, I guess, Missouri are completely surrounded. Alright, so this one should be done soon. Oh, my god. Oh, did five days. My goodness. That's so long. Over Ridge Mountain. Force. Operation Forest Plain. Operation Forest Plain is a national security chief's plan for the reunification of the rural federation of Illinois with the smaller state of Illinois. The failed republic will not be able to withstand our glorious American soldiers. Core former Illinoisian territory? Let's go and core the, this territory as well. we got so much manpower. We're an extensive conscription though, right? So that... No! No! We're on volunteer only! Wow! That's a lot of manpower! 105. Oh my gosh. Operation Blue Sky? Blue Sky, what's it? Is that a, a song by the band, uh, uh, what's it? 
Electronic Electronic Lights Orchestra. Oh god, I love that group so much. Land of Lincoln, huh? Well, yeah, you guys are done. You guys are done. You guys are there. And oh, this isn't the land of Union of Lincoln. Um, yeah, they're led by Richard Spencer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta love this mod. It's, it's it's so wacky. I love the wackiness. It's unique, right? Cool. Um, why not? The so-called American Republic should be nothing but a distant dream to our youth. It's time to make a public show of force by orchestrating a simultaneous execution of the Southern leadership, starting with the President Rumsfeld. What about Jeb Bush? We can't kill Jeb Bush. No one can kill Jeb Bush. Jeb Bush lives forever in our hearts and minds, even though he's still not dead yet. I don't think he's going to die for quite a while. Operation Force Plane. Operation Force Plane is a war plan for invasion of Illinois Weeks Republic. Since the collapse of the U.S., Illinois has maintained its precarious position between the major post-Reagan states with a weak economy and simple but failed political system. These factors combined make it for a poor opposition to our on onslaught of endless proud American soldiers and the inevitable war for supremacy over Illinois. With these soldiers ready at the border, Operation Force Plane can go off without a hitch, and the National Security Council will have achieved greater another outstanding strategic victory with the glorious guidance of Bernard Sanders. All right. Oh, there goes Richard Spencer. Maybe next time, Richard. Probably not, but maybe next time. Yeah, we definitely more. Oh, we need more tungsten. We still have more guns though, which is nice. Um, our APCs are not bad. You know, just go 25 then. And then if we have any extra spare ones, just go with that one. There you go. Makes sense, right? Sorry, Jeb. It's gotta be. It's gotta go. It's gotta be like that. That is a weird flag, you know. Who are you, Steven Weber? What a bunch of liberals. Am I right, boys and girls? How many divisions do they have? Up to 12? That's not much. Smart Bullet's nice. Uh, it's almost 10 15. 10 15? I keep playing too much Quest Street War. 20 15. Which is an okay year. It's an okay year. Wasn't great. Wasn't bad. Once again, weird time for me. Then again, every single year is just weird for me, so. We've lost how many? 1,000 versus 10,000? Not bad. They've up to. Eight. Well, hold on. 55,000? Not bad. Not bad. Can we make it 70,000 maybe? 70? I'm calling for 70. No, oh, they stood down. Oh man. Nice. Let's let time go on next. And we can go and core the territory, hopefully. Hip 30. Oh, we need more PP. We need bigger PP. Midwest Union's gotta go, though. Oh, poor Arizona. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, I do not want to. Ooh, we might want to. Oh, I want to oh, I take them out as fast as possible. Montaigne, Mountain Ridge, Montana, are option Operation Blue Sky. Yeah, Blue Sky first. Operation Blue Sky is a council's plan to wipe out the so-called legitimate successors to the old U.S., drafted by promising military protégés. The failed Hungarian state is not expected to pose a massive threat to Union forces outside of Denver, but extensive planning is good on its own merits. Nice. It's going to take us a while to get there, but that's all right. Synthetic oil experiments, nice. Let's grab some more fuel, too. We can probably start slowly cutting back the amount of fuel we need, so... Let's try two. We save two more civvies, which we can use for this. And then, as well as this. Chromium. Okay, maybe not. Okay, maybe definitely maybe not. Botswana doesn't want to trade with us. What's wrong with you, Botswana? Ah. Alright, two then. What if we still take one less off, so we can just build slightly faster. Yeah, we can. That's good. Alright, if that's the case, let's go ahead and do... You know what? Build some radar around here. We can probably really use radar just in case. And what is this? Fuel? With our own rubber. That's not a bad idea. Ethiopia declare one Djibouti. Well, alright. Actually, no. I just made these guys 40 combo with already, so. That's actually not too bad. There you go. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, you convinced me to go to 8. Djibouti's gone. Sorry, we ate Djibouti. And a few more days, and then. They going bye bye. Looming. Operation Looming Desert. Southern leaders executed. A spectacular show of my. Supreme Leader Sanders has orchestrated the simultaneous execution of prominent Southern leaders. President Donald Rumsfeld and Jeb Bush were the first to be lined up, but he was forced to endure the subsequent shackling and abuse of his fellow politicians mere meters away. As Paul, military police escorted many to the wall. Across the nation, hundreds of similar events were occurring in a massive show of propaganda directed by Sanders' right-hand man, Jeff Mackler, in which each Southern leader will be shot at the same time. At midday, guns were fired and bullets pierced the brain of, it to every, of every traitor to the Greater American Union. At 1 p.m., many were still hang, hanged along prominent avenues in each major city uh, for every southern citizen to see as an example of what treachery will do to you as a person. Or what will do to a person. Wonderful. Just wonderful. <laughs> 
Oh, I gotta love removing political enemies, right? Actually, it's not looking good, but we got more than enough guns right now. Which we might actually need to keep, but... Eh, lower that by five, that's fine. Ah, oh, good. Oh, I know. Oops, one, wrong one. We're gonna go that way. There we go. We need more tungsten. God dang it. And after that, um... We actually might be able to move fast and do Operation Mountain Ridge. Montana has been stained by fascist militias. Now's the time to restore order to these plague lands and to end the failed ethnostate experiment once and for all. Operation Blue Sky. <clears throat> Operation Blue Sky will involve a rapid and simple occupation of Midwestern states. Their decentral society of the minimal defense forces poses virtually no threat to American armies, meaning we could simply stroll across their lands and hardly any bullets fired. This is the least the least of the plan detailed in Operation Blue Sky, a quickly drafted operation from Philadelphia's military elite. This time, the National Security Council left the task of drafting this plan to the protégés in lower positions, evidently showcasing the importance of extensive plans for such a weak opponent. I'll oh, go and stop doing that, guys. Uh, well... Alright. Goodbye, David Koch. Goodbye. How many divisions they got? I have 16. Not bad. Not bad. Could be better. Could be worse. And after that, Looming Desert. I think we're pretty good. Emancipation. We won't be able to get there. We need to do Operation Coastal Menace. But reorganization. Let's do that one. To achieve the Supreme Leader's dream and finish the American Revolution, society has to be radically reorganized according to the principles of social revolution. Nice. Should have happened pretty darn soon, though, right? Keep going, guys. Keep going. Operation Mountain Ridge. Operation Mountain Ridge is the complex plan for the inevitable war with Montana's government, or their oppressive government, I should really say, designed by senior members of the National Security Council. It was mainly designed around the entire unique terrain within Montana's borders and had handpicked by Bernard Sanders as the right course of action in the event of war with the nation. Unlike some other war plans for American reunification, Mountain Ridge was not named by Sanders, in fact. All officials within the council had seen it before the Supreme Leader could feast his eyes on the details. Marking a rare occurrence of the Union's military command structure. <laughs> okay. Okay. And reorganization, of course. Oh, are they still fighting Arizona? Arizona's not giving up without a bloody fight, which is good to see. But other than reorganization, we'll probably do Purge the Old Guard. Uh, support local farmers? I kind of don't mind doing that. That seems like a pretty good thing to do, right? Ultra nationalist propaganda. Let's grab that one more political power. We must convince the American people that the greater American Union will not be stopped by any domestic or foreign threat. The best way to do this is to take control of the media and make sure they only spread positive information about the Supreme Leader, the Union, and the Revolution. Did they go to war with Montana? No, I want Montana! Montana's ours! No! Denver, go straight for Denver. We gotta finish this war now. Britain joins the war. Why does everyone want to join the Warsaw Pact? What's so cool about them? Nothing. That's what's cool about them. Get ready to go. Just, just go and go to war with them. I don't mind sp splitting this up with everyone else, but still, just, you gotta go, 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 go. I'm going to take at least the Dakotas. Um, sure, Angela, sure. As long as Canada doesn't join. Warsaw Pact, which they shouldn't, but still. Oh, 100, nice, very good. Oh, modern hardware, good, very good, very good. 2014, nice, 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 nice. How much more do we need? Great American Union, huh? Our war score participation has been 55%, so. 60%, man, I don't know. We're going to take 67% of all the territory. Alright, so. We are generous people here under the leadership of Bernie Sanders, so you can have Montana. Other than that, we get the Dakota, North Dakota, and Wyoming. I think that is more than fair. I don't mind helping out Arizona, though. I kind of think they'll die there, and the supplies has just got to be god-awful down there, so... Um, any other ships yet? Yes, yes! Another carrier, great. Because if we do that, we can actually cover our entire coast. Even though we don't have that many screens over there, which really sucks, but whatever. Alright, so now we can't go to war anymore. Early automated construction, not bad. Get some more extraction, because we can. But after Ultra National's propaganda, Looming Desert, well, they're kind of already gone. So if you want to read about that, please go ahead. If you want to read about this one, please go ahead. Operation Yellow Sun, please go ahead if you want to read about that too, because it's pretty much already gone. So if we click on this already, it should just auto bypass, right? It should technically sell. Um, cult of personality? Why not? 
To ensure that all citizens obey his wishes, we must build a cult of personality around Bernie Sanders resembling the Bush cult in the South. Only then we can be sure that he will remain the paramount leader of our union. Very nice. And we've got those civilian factories done. Do we? What are we missing here? We're missing anti-air, actually. Of all things, we're missing anti-air now. Just in case. Another division, not bad. I do want to kill off Mexico, though. Just because they don't deserve New Mexico. Hmm. First, call it personality, and we will purge old guard leaders eventually, so. And get a new order, but what if we did that one? Wait, does it not? Okay, it doesn't auto-bypass. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, then. Call it personality. Oh, wow, look at that. Alright, so at this point, I think we just do it like this. Uh, let's him go on first. You two come over here. And you'll be led by Peter Shoemaker. All right. And Stephen R. Lines. Cool. You guys are the tried and true bread and butter for now. Under Jim Mattis. India, they keep having the exact same uprising. That must really suck for these guys. You guys go, like, up there. Then you, Peter, be a little offensive. The upgrades, no. That's all right, then. That's all right. Eventually, we will want to build up a lot of infrastructure around here, too. Which would be probably pretty good for supplies, especially since we made our Division 40 combat with. But that's all right. If our divisions aren't thick, we ain't loving them hard enough. Okay. Oh, please don't tell me they're naval invading. Oh, God, no, 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 no. For the love of God, no, they did. Oh, God dang. You piece of the garbage. Oh, crap. They actually have a navy down here. Or we're sinking theirs. Sink them. Sink them. They're actually... Why did they go to war with us? Why? Who is that? Union Britain. Screw the Union Britain, man. Guys, why are you taking so long to get over there? My gosh. I know it's halfway... It's literally halfway across the country, but still, man. Still. They should not have enough supplies to do anything over here. They really should not. Especially New York City. Screw that, man. These guys are 40 combo with two, so. Let them suffer. Do not give up on the attacks. You kill every last one of them off. The British will pay for this. Now we should need to import less, right? Good. That's so dumb, man. Good. At least those guys are doing well now. He's getting more upgrades, which is nice and all. That's a consolation prize for doing all this stuff. That's okay. Per Cult of Personality. And National Advisory Council. Uh, we can do that one, probably. Let's do that one. National Advisory Council. We'll expand the National Security Council and the National Advisory Council. National Security Council to add the National Advisory Council. Leaders from the industrial, agriculture, and ideological sectors will be handpicked by Supreme Leader himself to advise him on matters related to all sectors of the state. The council is, of course, ultimately just advisory. Oh my gosh, how many... Oh my god, the Italians are landing. You already immigrated here. Why are you coming over? Oh, thank goodness we got that. How many divisions do they have? Three? That's three too many. Alright, we probably really... Oh, I should not admit this division then. Oh, uh, we need... Uh, I don't want to guard this here. Look at that. Look at that. How, how do they stay alive? Sink them. Oh, that's so nice. How many divisions are they sending? I'll probably off-screen just go ahead and uh, fix up our uh, stuff here. And we'll get, get some more uh, divisions on the coast, so... How? How did you... You literally all got sunk. Bruh. Bruh. Alright then, well, we're going to need more light cruisers then. All they do is take a steel, which is actually pretty nice, not going to lie. Alright, centralized fire control. And soon we're going to do some more naval uh, naval doctrine too. Ooh, it is 1015. 2015. Oh, god dang it. 2015. 2015. 2015. After this, let's do, uh, let's do purge old guard leaders. Well, Sanders' friends, the old guard have been essential for his rise of power. They have outlived their purpose. Purging them from the political arena will ensure our complete authority over the Union. Nice. It's only 35 day focus, which is great. At least our admiral's learning a lot, hopefully. Caribbean Sea, huh? 
Oh, they're too good over home. Whatever. Guantanamo Bay too, probably. Probably. Alright, let's build our cities up here some more. Need even more raiders so we have even greater knowledge of what's going on. Greater knowledge. Knowledge is greater. And do one here in the center as well, but keep making up some civvies. Oh my goodness. Please stop invading me. Please. Please. Oh god. Get half. Get like one division there and keep like a division up here and keep another two like all the way up here. You never know when they're going to attack us. There you go. Nice. Train, 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 train. Screw it. We're not even making armor divisions yet. There's the. Oh, wow. Six heavies? <laughs> 17 and a half organization. That's really not good. Ethiopia is killing its. Oh! Yes! Yes! Another carrier! Jolly good. Oh god, never mind. We need all the people in Florida right now. God, it takes so long to move down there. And then consolidate new order. Now that the old guard has been purged, it's time for the Supreme Leader Sanders to finish his political revolution to make sure Sanders' interpretation of socialism remains a dominant ideology in the Union. Nice. More national Bolshevism. We love national Bolshevism here. Alright, down with the Kingmakers. The Greater Dream. Uh, we could probably condemn private businesses. The free market that existed under the Commonwealth has now been undermining our flourishing economy for years. Just like it did to the United States before us. It's of critical importance to shut these capitalist ventures down once and for all. But we need to shut the people on... Need the people on our side in order to do it. Hmm. Care every single last one of these guys. Yep, there goes those guys. Alright, take half of you guys go back to... What is it? Philadelphia? Where's Philadelphia? Pennsylvania, right? I always forget Pennsylvania's right next to New Jersey. I'm so sorry. That, su that sucks. That's gotta really suck, doesn't it? Just insulting other people from other states. It's not the people that suck, it's just the state itself, that's all. Oh my god! That's an invasion! I was gonna say a Chinese invasion, but oh my goodness. How? Why? Leave me alone! Yeah, no, you gotta kill these guys. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of artillery, or a lot of divisions. What do they even have down here? Are this artillery only brigades? We've already killed 400,000 of them. But still, my goodness. This is insane. One of you guys are going to die. It's not going to be us. How are you losing, man? They should be starving, right? Wow. Yeah, I'll definitely make some divisions off screen. Let's get through one more focus first before we end this. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and do condemn private businesses. But I'm also going to do these two like off screen. And support local farmers. Eh, seems okay. We'll probably go and do nationalization programs. Now the public holds a negative opinion on private businesses, it's time to begin nationalizing the American industry to make sure it will not pose a threat against the public order and Sanders regime. North America should be the graveyard of capitalism. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we fully reunify America, maybe take out Mexico, and keep destroying the, the evil communists that want to take out our nation. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of your day.